Hey, what is going on guys? Cody from Dual Faction Gaming here, bringing you another Destiny video. As you saw from my last video, I said there would be a lot of Age of Triumph videos coming up soon. And this week, since I am not able to, I'd say, totally record as much as some other people, so I can't really record the whole raid and post it, but if you guys would like to see the boss fights or certain encounters in the raid or any tips or anything that you could do that I could help out with and make a video on, let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I'm going to be heading into the Vault of Glass raid by myself, the weekly feature raid, and we are going to do a little glitch in case you are playing by yourself, um, nobody's online, and or you just have a very incompetent raid team, which, I mean, honestly, I don't really know. Even if they're incompetent, you should be able to do this first part anyway. Uh, the part I'm talking about is the Spire. Probably literally the easiest part of the raid. But some people do have trouble with it. I could, I, I mean, I guess I can understand. I don't know if anybody else still has, or anybody still has any trouble with it. But, um, so all you have to do over here, you see I spawned into the raid and it says raise the Spire. Uh, I'm going straight over here. It already says the spire's forming. We are going to go to Campus 9. So when it says Campus 9, now what you want to do is just sit here in Campus 9 and wait about two minutes, I'd say. It's somewhere around two minutes. I think the exact time for the spire, if you do it perfect, is around 1 minute and 30, 1 minute and 40 seconds. But just to be safe, wait like around two minutes. It's kind of like a safe zone of like... 30 to 40 seconds, which always helps. This is basically just for the people, like I said, who, I mean, I don't know why, but in case your team can't make it to the Spire and can't form it, or honestly, this is mostly for people that don't have anybody online or just want to hop in um, during the reset and get the first two chests that you can get for some legendary engrams and... Uh, whatever else they drop. I, I don't know about the chest drop um, anymore. But you can do this and you can get the first two chests before Templar if you so please. So this is a really useful glitch. Um, kind of little thing that you guys can do whenever you feel like. Now I would say, I would bet that it's been about two minutes. I could be wrong and I could completely mess this up. So let's hope not. Let's run back and see what happens. If we do, you're about to see a jump cut. Oh, God damn, I cannot believe that that didn't work the second time. Oh, all right, that's what I like to hear. I see that spire. Oh, we got it, boys. That is it. That is the spire built with my mind, because I am so good at this damn game. Oh, man, look at that. Now the true test to see if it works, don't worry also, the door most likely will not be open, but in case you weren't aware, there's a also, as you see now the spire's gone, don't freak out if it disappears, it will still work. So that's all you have to do if the door is open. The spire disappearing does not change anything. It will do that. Now, after our little mess up the first time, we're going to see if it actually worked as if we formed the spire ourselves and the chest is here so that means it did work now i'm not going to get anything out of this chest because i already did the raid for this week on my titan so that chest there i'm not sure the loot pool for that chest um i know uh at least a legendary engram as far as i know derp, derp. Uh, as I casually die. No. At least in a uh, let. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Um, we're gonna have to fix this. How are we fixing this? How are we fixing this? Uh, we're just gonna jump off. Great. You're you're a fucking idiot. Cut. Cut. Leave it out. Leave it out. That wasn't. That didn't happen. Oh boy. I took. What? Wait. You what, mate? What? 
All right, hold up. I'll be back, guys. So we made it. We're not gonna fuck it up this time. I'm not trying to go fast. I'm gonna play it safe. Not hit a damn ceiling. So this is the easiest way for you, if you are playing by yourself, to get the first two chests. And I believe that one is... I, I know for a fact they both at least drop a legendary engram. Uh, like I said, don't know the exact loot pool, but it's always nice in case you want to run in here by yourself uh, if your team's not on, or if you just need a couple engrams or a couple somethings, uh, just run in here and grab it. And it's pretty simple. It only takes like uh, two-ish minutes. You're going to want to wait for the spire, and then maybe like a minute to go grab the thing. So you got like three... Three, four minutes all together just to run in and get two free legendary engrams or something else. And as you can see, uh, we are here and it will start once you jump down, just like if you had actually built the spire. So, thank you. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for sticking around and watching and helping the channel grow. I hope you guys are enjoying Age of Triumph as much as we are. And with that being said, if you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe to join the faction. I'll see you all next time.